What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Ark the Lad 2. Today we have to find the mischievous boy who is hiding in town. And this mission is kind of strange because he hides in a whole bunch of places and they're kind of all over the place. And I think you actually lose, like if you talk to kids that aren't the actual one you're looking for, then you actually lose like your rating on the mission goes down or something like that. I could be wrong about that, but whatever. So, first off, he's hiding here behind the inn. And then next, he is right... Is that him? Yeah, he's right here by the guild. And next, he is right here beside the weapon shop hidden behind the tree. So as we can see, it's getting pretty... Tricky. So, okay, so he's right here now. Next up, he is over here behind this tree. Then he is up here. Yeah. And then he's way the heck over here. I think he's down here. Yeah, he's in these little arches. And finally... Uh, where is he? He's in a tree near the weapon shop. Isn't he? Aha! He was. You just can't actually see him. Because that's fair. Indeed I was. Why, thank you. I shall... go collect that, I suppose? I don't know if that's going to work. But mom, it is kind of convenient that they actually send us into the guild all, all on their own. So I'll grab the bounty for that. And our next order of business is we have, well, it's kind of twofold. On one hand, we have a couple of one of monsters that we want to hunt down, but also. Uh, I want to use this opportunity for a couple of things. Um, let's see. Uh, first off, I well, obviously I want to kill the wanted monsters, but also my party is kind of weak right now, so I want to level up these uh, summon monsters that I got from Changara, and I want to maybe. Uh, catch some local monsters and straight up replace these summon dudes because if I can do that then that's obviously much quicker than having to level up the guys I have. So there's that. So let's see. First up is Fells Highland. We are looking for Wanted Monster Balbuli. Are we going to find him? I think that's him. Maybe? I guess not. Uh, no, that's just a normal barbarian. Okay. Well, normally I would leave and come back, but like I said, I need the experience, so I'm actually going to kill these guys, and then I'm going to leave and come back a few times until I find Balbuli, and then I will show you this fight. So, I will be right back. 
Okay, so we're back. I have completed that last battle, and I found this uh, little stone jackal dude by the name of Belguli. So, this time around you may notice I have a barbarian on my team. So I caught one of these dudes, and I just, I'm using him to replace Himoji, because Himoji is pathetic. And I just slapped him, or I slapped a claymore on him, and uh, he should serve me pretty well, at least in the short term. Himoji is probably the weakest uh, straight up of the monsters that Changara gives you, but the interesting thing about him is that he, from between the last game and this game, he learned a very interesting new ability. Uh, I believe it's called Changara Bomb or something like that. And basically it does kind of what it says. Uh, the Himoji will like call Changara and Changara will drop bombs on the entire battlefield. Which at level 10 is not that so great because it only does like 6 damage. But at high levels that can actually be very useful. So if you so choose, there is benefit to leveling up Himoji. Uh, I just tend to feel like I would rather not spend the time doing that, so I am not going to. Just gonna capture a monster and just straight up replace him. That's just how we roll. Unfortunately, this guy keeps his uh, somewhat annoying uh, attack animation. But what are you gonna do? I probably should have rested at the inn or something before coming back here because these creatures don't have a whole lot of MP to keep their uh, their spell casting up. They run out pretty quickly. Especially if you're casting a level 2 cure with Kellak. I would say Kellak is probably the one you want to keep the longest because his healing is all really good and that's always helpful. Uh, that way you can let Liza do a little bit more attacking even if she's not particularly good at it. She's probably better than Mofly and Kellak are at least. So I guess I should go like that. I could probably... oh. Okay, well, Pondit seems to be out of MP. Speaking of MP... Probably finish this guy off. Go from the side, so I'm a little bit closer to the rest of the action. Blaze is getting pretty weak here. Well, we can probably finish this dude off. Mofly is a decent monster, I guess. He doesn't really stand out in any way, but... He does have a, a new ability of his own by the name of uh, Make Bolt. So that could be kind of handy. It's very cheap and he comes with a lot of MP, so... It may not be the strongest ability ever, but he can spam the heck out of it, so it could be kind of kind of useful. Lisa is not exactly designed to be a tank, that I feel, but that's how she's acting right now, which is kind of unfortunate. Let's see. Well, I guess I might as well try and... Jeez, this guy is like blocking everything. It's only level 32. So yeah, uh, make bolt. Damage is not very good at this point, obviously, because Mofly is only like level 17 or something. But it can do well enough. Okay. Oh, well, Kellak is out of MP. Well, that's unfortunate. 
I guess Lisa's gonna die. Well, that was lucky. Uh, let's run away and have Lisa do some actual healing. I did level two because I think Pondit needs some healing as well. So. Yeah. That was kind of pathetic. This Belguli fellow is rather hardy. One nice thing about using this uh, barbarian is it gives me an opportunity to level up the. Uh, like as I, that's the wrong button. As I said, I equipped him with the claymore. So this gives me a little bit of a chance to actually level up the claymore. So that's kind of nice. So by the time I want to actually use it, it should be at a decent level. I don't know if that's something that's ever going to actually matter. It might not be something that I actually want to take, like make a point of leveling up, but... If I do ever want to stick it on, like, a human character, then at least it will be ready for them. Uh, down goes Balguli. And down goes Mr. Barbarian? Not quite. Yeah, sure, Kellogg can probably finish him off. Kellogg has a pretty good weapon, so... yeah. Kellogg also levels up pretty quickly because of the... King's Image. So, level 19... Okay, well, we're doing pretty good. So, uh, with that... I am going to head back to Ramu and rest up, and our next destination is... where is it? Somewhere. There it is, Kelmio Hill. So we got another one monster that we want to take care of here, so we are going to do that on the next episode of Let's Play Arc the Lad 2. Catch you later.